Hey everybody, this is Coaching Channel. My name is Laszlo Lever. In the previous tutorial, we have created a React application which is running in Docker, and today we will extend this project with the Node.js backend and we will use an Nginx proxy as well. You can find the starter project under my video. So let's start coding. Okay, here you can see the Docker Compose file that we created before. And here you can see our app.js and uh, let's try to compose our containers. You can compose with the docker compose command and uh, use the build switch as well now. Okay, it's working. Start the project. Okay, let's create a new folder named backend test and run the npm init f command there. Okay, the next step is to install Express and some other tools because we will build a little web server. So please type this command into your command line tool. Now create a server.js in the backend test folder and uh, we will write the logic of our server. Okay, the first thing that uh, we console log that backend server is starting. This uh, information will be shown when the compost procedure will be running, so it will be a very useful information for us. The next thing is to require Express and Body Parser and Cookie Parser and Express Session. Uh, we need some tools of it. Now, not everything, but I recommend to use these tools because in the future, if you want to implement, for example, an authentication, then you will need, for example, Express Session, and you will need Cookie Parser, uh, but we will use the Body Parser now. Okay, let's init the Express app, and we set the port to 9000 of the backend app. We will use Morgan in development mode, so we can set it to log the requests. Uh, then init the body parser. And uh, we set some headers to allow some cross sites requests because we will call the backend from the port 3000 from the front end so we set access control allo origin localhost 3000 then we create a little handler function which will call only next now and we set up some routes. The slash root we will call API, and uh, the API will render our public slash uh, API.html. And we will have another route, the API slash cars. This will return a cars JSON. It will return a JSON object to the front end. Okay, now set up one handler for the 404 and one handler for the 500 status code.
finally start the express server with app.listen and we will console log that app started on port 9000. Let's create a cars.json file. This will contain the object which will be returned to the front end. This is a list of cars and create a public folder to contain the api.html and move this cars.json into it as well. Now we can test our backend with the command node server.js and uh, you can see in the terminal that uh, we, we will get our console log app started on port 9000 and our other console log that backend server is starting as well. Now we can try out our backend application in the browser. So type in localhost 9000 slash cars, oops, sorry, no slash cars, slash API slash cars. And here you can see that our JSON object is returned. So now we will modify our React application. First, we modify the CSS. Okay, uh, here we will render our car list and I will refactor this code a little bit, for example, to use arrow functions. I will import use effect and use state because we will use it. We will have a state variable named uh, cars and in use effect we will fetch our car list from the backend so we will we'll call localhost 9000 slash api slash cars and put the json into the cars state variable Okay, we will render our car list in the car list div and uh, we will use the map function to iterate over our cars state variable and uh, let's uh, display the car's name and the car's color here. After that, we can run Docker Compose again. And as you can see, uh, the front end is working. It renders the car list, and if we stop the back end, then the car list goes away. So it's working. Stop everything, and now we will build the Docker file of the back end. Let's create a new file named docker file in the backend test folder and we will build a very similar docker file as we created before for the front end but uh, here the final command will be node server js and we will run npm install to in the docker file after that please open the docker compose file here we will build our 
container. Uh, the name of our backend container will be backend. The context will be backend test folder and uh, the name of the docker file is docker file. We map the 9000 port from inside to outside and uh, we set the restart unless stopped to and we map the backends node modules folder to the container as well. Now we can run docker compose again. Now it will build two containers, one for the backend and one for the frontend and we will see them here in the plugins GUI. In the terminal we can see some useful information, for example our console log that backend server is running, so everything works as uh, it expected. App started on port 9000. We can try out our application, you can see that uh, on localhost 9 thousand slash api slash cars returns our object. Now it's building front end and uh, front end started on port three thousand. We can check the call here. As you can see, this request returns the cars object from the backend. Okay, we have the backend and we have the front end now. The next step is to use the Nginx proxy for the backend. So we will set up an Nginx proxy on the port 8000 and after that we can call the backend on the port 8000 so we will remove the port mappings from the settings of the backend container. Okay, uh, the name of the proxy will be proxy, it uses the Nginx 1.0 17 and here we can set the ports we will map the 80 inside ports to outside 8000 and we map the ngx folder default.conf file which doesn't exist yet to the correct folder inside our container. Okay, then now let's create our Nginx config file. This is the default.conf in the Nginx folder. First we set the listening port 80 for the Nginx proxy and after that we will make a setup for the location slash API. With the proxy pass, we can set that uh, the backend's 9000 uh, location will be mapped to 8000 port uh, because we we have already set the 8000 port in the Docker Compose file in the proxy section. Okay, now we can remove the port mappings for the backend. So let's open Docker Compose file and remove the port mappings here in the backend section. Maybe it's better to put back the settings and we comment out the two lines 
and we will make a comment that we use proxy so, so we don't want to access the backend on port 9000, just on 8000. Okay, now let's run the docker compose command again and we can test our application. As you can see, the backend is not working on the 9000 port anymore. Here you can see that NGPROX is working on the 8000 port and if we call API slash cars then the car list will be returned. And uh, now we will waiting for the front end to be built. Okay, React development server is running and here you can see that uh, we should modify the URL in the app.js because it uses the 9000 port and we should use the 8000 port. Here we go. Now the front end can get the car list again. You can see that it uses the 8000 port now so it it uh, uses the NGINX. NGINX proxy to get the car list from the backend. Okay, that's all for now today. We have successfully built a little full stack application with Docker and we dockerize the backend, the frontend and the proxy as well. If you like my video, please subscribe. You will find many interesting videos on my channel in the future. Thank you very much. Bye all.